afternoon welcome back to the channel um, first of all please like subscribe if you like the content I put out it helps build the channel and build a following um, but with regards to today today is a video on how I make off an SWA cable and I'm just briefly going to run through a couple of uh, tools that you may need to do this if you are you know appropriately qualified or an apprentice looking to learn how to do this or whatever so yeah this is just a 2.5 mil uh, SWA cable and what we're going to do we're going to make it off uh, and install a glam pack or a glan um, to how it should be done so first of all a couple of the tools that you may need so my own personal preference I have some insulation tape a variety of different size um, grips uh, pliers some cable strippers a Stanley knife and a junior hacksaw um, these bits here aren't bits that I use on a daily basis um, these are tools that I've just got in my garage which are perfectly um, you know appropriate for this task but they are something that is just in my garage rather than uh, actually in my toolbox that I use on a daily basis these I do use on a daily basis so um, so yeah first of all obviously what we want to achieve by making off the SWA is as well as exposing the uh, copper cores inside to obviously make the appropriate electrical connections we want to make sure that this uh, steel wired armour is earthed um, so should you know this come into sort of contact with something it shouldn't or there's some sort of impact from a, maybe a, a spade or a shovel that's you know when this is buried in the ground we want to make sure that that's earthed so should there be a fault occur that that earth that sheafing or that um, armour is earthed and obviously um, will potentially cut the supply um, should it need to in the event of a fault so first of all what my my personal preference is um, is to put some insulation tape around where I'm going to make the, the cut into the into the armour so today I'm using a junior hacksaw uh, to cut through the armour but uh, you, there are different tools out there all of which are available on my Amazon tool store um, and you can go and see that uh, link in the comments below so first of all I put that around there so I know where I'm going to make my cut with the junior hacksaw the second thing I do is get the boot from the glam pack and it's important that you get a nice tight fit on this boot because you don't want it just sliding around when it's in position on the gland so you want to get a nice sort of uh, nice fit on that and the way you achieve that is by putting that over the top there and squeezing it and you can see that that makes a ridged mark around the inside of the boot so if we do that there that ridge mark there and then we take that off and that ridge mark was there so if we get a standing knife then and then cut that like so So we score it, and then we cut all the way through, like that. So then we've got that boot, which is very tight fitting. Very makes it a bit cold today, so this rubber is very tricky to work with. Plus the end of this SWA is chewed up a bit. So yeah, there we go. There we go. You see how tight that is to get on because it's a hard work for me to get on. So yeah, we slide that over down the SWA till it's past the point that we're gonna cut the SWA at. So then we've got that. That can go in the bin. So now what we want to do is we where we're going to make off our SWA we want to score around there through the outer sheafing down to the armour so that we score the armour enough so when we remove the outer sheafing we can peel the, uh, the armour off so what we do and this will take a few minutes if you can hear the tone difference that's where we're through to the steel wide armour so all we do is we cut around where the insulation tape is and you don't have to have the insulation tape, I just like to put it there so that creates a nice straight line so it means we get a nice straight cut on our armour.
So, we get a nice score on that armour. So hopefully that's sufficient for us to bend it over um, and break the armour so we expose the inner core, the outer sheathing and then the inner core. So from that point, we get our standing knife away from us and we cut that outer sheathing off like that. Which then, oh, exposes the steel wide armoured and as it happens on this occasion some of them are already broken off as you can see which means we've probably scored it a little, little bit too much which is fine as long as we haven't um, gone through to the outer sheathing of the inner core so we'll have a look now so right so that's that stage so we're down there so what we then do now is we un unravel these bring them round to where they go or where they sit naturally and then we just break them like that with that sort of method and they just break off nice and straight and then we throw them in the bin we do that all round We do that all round until we're left with a nice little cut like that. So we've got our inner sheathing and then our single insulation with our copper cores inside. This is our inner sheathing. Then we've got our wide armoured, which is obviously been cut off there. And then we've got our bit of insulation tape. So what I do next is I then get our gland. So you've got the, this is an external gland pack. So this is designed to be outside. So we've got our first bit which has got a little rubber seal in it it's quite important if it's been used outside and we put that over there like so it's a bit tight fitting because of that insulation tape but that's absolutely fine then we've got our lock nut which this part of the gland if you're glanding it into an enclosure for example this part will go through the enclosure then the lock nut will secure that in place but not before you put your banjo on, which is the part that you need to use to earth your um, wide armour. So we put these two bits to the side, then we'll undo this bit. So this second bit, we've got a little olive inside, and that's quite important because that traps the cable. So we'll put the olive back in, and then we'll feed him back over like that onto our cable. And then the next step is so again, this is where this comes in handy, is you can score around this. Be careful, very careful with your Stanley knife. Score around the outer sheathing, all the way around. Like so. And then we cut that off. And the reason we cut that off is because that exposes our armour, our wide armour, which we are going to use to obviously earth the external part of this cable. So we've got the, the boot over, we've got the first part of the gland with the seal in it, we've got the second part of the olive, and then we've got this third part, but we do not put this on yet. So what we do then is we get this inner cable and we fan that still wide armoured out. We twist that around so it creates a nice fan like that, which, excuse this, this is chewed up at the end, so we'll just strip that bit off. So once that's fanned out, 
we put that over like that and then that sits nicely around that armoured like so not over the thread because obviously the thread is what this this part of the gland screws onto but just over this lower part this chamfered part of the gland we put that armour over there and we hold that in place and that's why it's important to get a nice straight cut because if it's different lengths then uh, this wide armour will be over the top of the threaded part and it won't gland properly so that's why it's important to get a nice um, straight cut and hence why I use the um, insulation tape and then all we do is we get this second part of this gland and we feed that up and what that does is with that olive inside it traps that steel wide armoured traps that steel wide armoured between the olive and this part of the top part of the gland and then we do it up hand tight or well, I do it up hand tight until I can't tighten it anymore which is about that point so then we've got various different size grips here um, for this I'm probably going to use this middle set to hold that in place like that and then I use these small co repair if I can adjust them one handed lever which I can't to hold that part of the gland and what we'll do is we'll just go in opposite directions just to tighten it up be careful this you should use some spanners maybe but I use glands but if you are careful or if you're not careful you can chew these up but if you are careful with them and delicate um, it's absolutely fine to use these pliers so all you do is nip those up so all that does then is tightens that gland onto the armoured so that's not going absolutely anywhere so this part of the gland you've got your armoured in between here and the olive and by tightening that up that crushes that in there to make sure you get a nice connection and then what we do is bring that last part of the gland up and again we just tighten that by hand until we can't tighten it anymore and the same goes again you use these pliers or grips and those ones on there then all we do is again just tighten these like so so we just tighten that bottom part of the gland in place and it makes a nice seal so by tightening this bottom part of the gland what it does is ties it up against the, the middle section of the gland and then also what it does is that plastic rubber seal inside that bottom part it crushes that to make a nice seal around here obviously you're probably not going to be glanding that into the top of, a, of, of an enclosure you'll probably be glanding it into the bottom of an enclosure so any water will naturally run down the, the cable anyway but if you are glanding it into the side it could go in there hence why that rubber seals there so yeah so what we end up with is is that SWA gland in position it's not going anywhere the armory the armory in is is trapped in there um, and then the next step is basically to move on to preparing our cables um, I have got a um, Nipex Ergo strip but again that's in my van and then I've got this cheaper version which is from Amazon SNR but basically does exactly the same and it's just a, a cable stripper for flex cables so all we do is if we get that cable in the middle there we just squeeze it shut very slightly and then score around and that basically scores the outer sheafing of our cables and then we remove that which then exposes our single cores within obviously one you will use as your live one you'll use as your neutral um, and obviously sleeve them appropriately and one you'll use as your CPC or your earth and obviously again sleeve that appropriately so so imagine we have I don't have an enclosure because I was only going to show you how I make off an SWA 
but if you have an enclosure that you're glanding that into and you definitely are going to be doing that um, if you're doing it properly then what you do is you put the banjo on there your cable will then go up through the enclosure so just imagine that's an enclosure there and then what you will do to secure the SWA in place you will put your nut on like so tighten that in and then obviously your enclosure will be trapped between that and that what you then need to do is get a brass screw and uh, or brass nut and bolt thread that through the enclosure drill a hole and then obviously use your brass nut and bolt uh, and a piece of piece of earthing cable with a crimp and then obviously earth that into your main CPC whichever one you're going to use and then that means that your armoured still are wide armoured is earthed uh, along with obviously you know earthed into your CPC so so yeah once into your once in position in your enclosure like that we then bring our boot up slide it up up to the top of the SWA gland and your banjo and then it's there so what we have is we have the SWA gland all covered by your um, your boot and as you can see it's a very nice fit there there's no issues that's not going to fall down it will come down if I pull it but I have to pull it quite hard to get it down because it's a nice tight fit so yeah that's the aim to get a nice tight fit so it prevents most you know most moisture getting inside this SWA gland so yeah um, and that's the finished article so yeah I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video on how to do this um, any questions comments uh, please put below if you want to you know if you like the videos please subscribe or like the content then please subscribe share etc etc and um, yeah hope you enjoyed the demonstration thank you very much and uh, we'll see you soon